Hi, my name is Daniela and I am from University of Lisbon and I study physics engineering. Hi, my name is Nima. I'm a summer student here at CERN at CMS Collaboration. I'm from Iran and I'm a physics student. Hi, my name is Zena. I'm from Palestine and I'm a summer student at CERN. Hi, my name is Andres. I'm from Ecuador and I'm a summer student as well. If you're engineers, you have to actually get to know a little for a physics uh, uh, lectures as well. For example, get to know with electromagnetism, get to know with accelerator physics. If you have a, a basic uh, knowledge with this kind of stuff, you have a really good chance to be here. But mostly if you want to work here as a physicist or as a researcher, uh, programming is a key to be here, I guess. I think the best advice is to diversify. Uh, try a bunch of stuff. And I think Python is quite relevant as exactly. a language. Exactly, Python is really relevant. No, it does not, because myself, I didn't get a video interview. I just got an acceptance email, uh, and I was very excited about that because I it passed such a long time and I didn't even know if I got in because I didn't get an interview. And then I was in, just like that. Here you can attend to different lectures, not only related to particle physics, but also maybe to data analysis and at school. And it was quite nice because a lot of the lectures had information that um, I actually used in my real life work. So it was quite nice to have the mixture of morning lectures and then working in the afternoon. Um, it depends. Each lecture had its own difficulty level. It also depends on the background of the students because speaking to other students, um, some of the lectures that I found quite difficult, they found them easy and vice versa. So it's a mixture of um, different levels that suit everyone, basically. Yeah, and also the professor make their best so that everyone can understand. Here at CERN, you have this golden opportunity to actually enter the adulthood area of your life because you have to organize, actually, the economical situation of your life by your own for two or three months. You are in other countries, in foreign countries, you are all alone yourself, although you have a lot of good people that actually can help you. I think that one of the most important things here is the networking, not only the technical knowledge that you gain because of your work, but meeting persons, people with different backgrounds and cultures. I work in a team. I don't shadow anyone in particular. I am working in my own thing, but always in a team. I mean, my supervisor told me that I speak like I've been working with them for uh, years now, use the same vocabulary and stuff. So, I mean, that shows how quick you can learn and adapt in, in this environment. The work was like just as I was expecting, challenging, but always with people to help you and to guide you through the process. You have to think about it, you might have to spend some time in problem solving, but there will always be someone to help you. Yeah, I had actually this privilege to see the detector itself because hopefully uh, for my actually case, uh, they were shut down for two weeks in here, at C here at CERN and LHC. So we could actually uh, visit the Atlas, CMS, Delphi's and also LHCB detector. It was a really, really good privilege for me and an honor to actually went there. It was always a dream for me to actually see the CMS detector itself in a person, not only in a Google Maps. Please like, subscribe and share. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up button. We're going to give away an internship for someone who comments. We will not, we will not.